Now, now during the video, guys, you will hear me say the last hour of cooking add potatoes, but I did forget. I do that when I cut my potatoes small. So these are big potatoes. So pay no attention to the last hour of cooking. Add your, you can add your potatoes like after three hours of cooking, and then you're going to continue cooking just until them potatoes are soft. On low is what I do because I like the low and slow. There's more flavor that way. And it's going to take you between seven, eight hours to soften these potatoes. But if you're in a hurry, you can turn it to high to shorten your cooking time. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today, we're going to be making up a southern crock pot full of green beans and some ham hocks, some smoked ham hocks, and some potatoes. These are probably... I bought them and I think they're like a pound, pound and a half, the little bags, or you can use your regular reds or golds. Those work really well here too, but I'll be cutting these in half and adding them an hour or so at the end of the cooking time there. But in my pod here, let's go ahead and get started. I have two pounds of boneless ham hock pieces. Now, if you can't find the smoked ham hock, by all means, you know, use sausage, use bacon, whatever you like. I have one uh, good size onion, large, medium large. I have four medium cloves of garlic. Um, in here, I have four cups of warm water. To that, I mix a teaspoon of good old Tony's. I mixed two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, two teaspoons of tomato bouillon. If you can't find this, just use all bouillon. And, or control it as you like, because they are, it, it does have, it's all salt, so we're not gonna be adding no salt here, guys. Okay? Now, and pepper, black pepper to taste, and then your water. And I have two and a half pounds of washed, fresh green beans snapped. Large as you want them, you know, that's up to you, it's preference. I like to leave the little skinny ones whole and the bigger ones I'll, I'll snap in half. Get those washed up and, uh, and let's go ahead and get this together. It's gonna be quick. Well, it's gonna cook for hours, but <clears throat> okay. Now to my ham hocks there, I have in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my green beans right on top. And these are nice and washed. Okay. Then I'm gonna pour over, and this is warm water, it helps get everything going. We know these crock pots can take forever. Now you are gonna get some broth from your hawks, your ham hawks, and of course from the um, the lid being on. We know how crock pots go, that condensation in there. You'll end up with a lot more soup. And we're gonna have this with a good old cast iron pan of cornbread. Now onion, um, I slice it in big pieces because I have a picky one. So we're not, I'm not going to cut it all in big old pieces or little old pieces because he has to find them or and pick them out or he's not eating them. So we're going to put this all over top. And then once you get it all over top, you can just kind of mix it around. Get some of that onion to fall to the bottom. <clears throat> now this video is going to come together quick, guys. But let me tell you, this is sure good eating right here. And like I said, I have four cloves of garlic. Just give them a smack. Make sure they don't run off anywhere. And just get them diced up. I have four. This one here is kind of small, but that's all I had. So do four, about four medium. Medium large. If you like garlic, go for more. Okay that in there and just kind of mix it up now I'm gonna get my lid on here 
We're gonna get this cooking for probably three to a half, four, man, yeah, three and a half to four hours. Get it going. And we'll get that ham hock taken out of there. And um, we'll get the ham hock taken out, get it off the bone, get rid of the grizzle and, and shred that meat up and get it back in there. We'll get our potatoes thrown in at the last hour and some good eating's about to happen. We'll see you guys later on. Had to come back right quick. Had to come back right quick. Um, I did sprinkle some pepper. Pepper is to taste. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the amount of the ham hock. I put two pounds of, and then two and a half pounds of your greens. So that's what I used, okay? All right. Here we are up on our last hour of cooking. And if you guys can smell it in here, I was gone for a while. And I came back and walked in. Oh, did this smell good. But... As you can see here, I have my ham hocks. Cut, cut these or shred them however you want. I like them a little chunky. But they were some meaty ones, some good ones. So now that cooked for four hours. All right. <laughs> Let me get my potatoes. All right. Like I said, these been cooking for four hours on low. And here's my potatoes. I rinsed off and cut in half. I used the little bags. Like I said, I'm not sure how much in weight they were, probably pound and a half or so, or used three to four regular golds or reds, medium size, whatever you have. But these here hold up well, so I like to use these. And just kind of give them a stir. We're gonna cook these approximate, maybe another hour, just until our potatoes get nice and tender. And within that hour, that gives me time to make my uh, cornbread up. And dinner's gonna be ready. So let's get this finished up. Okay guys, there it is. It's all done. Uh, mine took, I cooked it four hours. Then I added my potatoes and I let it cook another four hours on low. But like I said, you can cook it, you know, start it on low or start it on high, turn it down or vice versa, you know. But uh, it's a delicious meal. Let me show you guys. Did that look good? Like I said, I made a pan of cornbread up with that. But I wanted to share it with you guys. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, let me know what you think. And until next time, we will see you guys later. And stay safe. Mm -hmm.